Have you ever been infatuated by a brush? It's probably weird. Makes you like a dry prune slash raisin. I don't even know. But it's nice for the drama. Hey everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to do a what's in my makeup travel bag or travel makeup bag, whatever. Um, I just got back from Vegas last week, over the weekend, whatever. And I wanted to show you what I brought with me makeup wise. Right after Christmas, I also went to North Carolina. If you follow me, throughout the other places on the internet. You probably know about these trips. Um, I um, am not at all and never probably will be an efficient traveler slash efficient packer, but I feel that I am getting a little bit better. I don't have any real great tips to share with you as far as like packing really efficiently, but I asked on Facebook and Twitter if you guys wanted to see a video like this and you said yes. So I am showing you. So I basically have like, and you guys are gonna laugh. This is like face makeup. It's in my, my, Melissafent. Melissafent, I'm sorry you guys. But I think there's something in my brain that's broken that won't let me say it right. Anyway, this is a face makeup and this is the eye makeup. This one is not like really full, but it has two palettes in it. So it's kind of has to be on its own. And then I have the brushes separately. So yeah, yet again, not very efficient, but I figured that you guys would like to see what I thought were like essential things to bring. Of course, like if you're going camping, you don't really need to bring any makeup unless you wanted to. I mean, it's up to you. Makeup is always up to you. Don't ever let anybody tell you anything different. But I was going to Vegas. And I knew I was going to be going to events and I'd be dressing up and stuff like that. So I didn't want to like limit myself as far as makeup. Not that I ever do. Anyway. And I have ended up really, really liking these bags. They're very, very helpful. Ta-da! Okay, for foundation slash bases, I brought the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in Medium. I like this one if I'm not going to be wearing foundation. And for the foundation foundation, liquid foundation, I brought the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. I put this one in my 2013 favorites. Still love it. It is my full-on perfection kind of foundation. I also have for concealer, this is the CoverGirl and Olay Concealer Balm. For my eye concealer, I brought my little tiny It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. For a setting powder, I have two options. This is the Revlon Color Stay Setting Powder, and this is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Light. For my bronzer, I have my Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. This is kind of just like a really great all-purpose bronzer for me. I probably Probably would have wanted to bring Benefit Hula, but I was trying to save space. And for my blush, I have the Milani Luminoso Baked Blush, and definitely seen better days. It's like taped together, but I figure if you're going to be traveling and there's a chance like it could get broken or something like that, might as well bring the one that's already broken and already almost all used up. Love this blush forever. Also in this bag, I put my fragrance. This is the Thierry Mugler Mugler. I can never do it right. Um, alien perfume. I love it so much. I'm actually <sighs> nearing the end. Isn't that so sad? I don't know. I've like killed this fragrance in like the past couple of months every day. I can't get enough. Also in this bag, I have my false eyelashes. Obviously I used a few of them. Um, these are the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. I get them at Walmart. They're really inexpensive and typically as you can see I use like this much of it as like kind of like a full more dramatic lash and then these I will cut to be just like little tiny like accent lashes like today I have some little tiny accent lashes that I cut from these I just kind of like give them more of an angle I don't know I probably get a little too crafty with my lashes but it's what I like to do so that's it for this Disney face makeup bag and now moving on to the eye makeup bag. You guys are probably laughing at me that I have like a whole separate eye makeup bag, but I like options. I I can't do without options. For my eyeshadow, I tried to be efficient, but I couldn't go with just one. I brought two of my Naked palettes. These are actually the only two Naked palettes. I didn't get Naked 2 ever, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But I love these, and I can create so many looks with these two palettes, so uh, these are the two that I brought. Um, it, I did feel like it was a little risky, and I almost put them in my carry-on, but I didn't, and I didn't lose them. Um, it would be so sad if I lost both of those at the same time. <laughs> For mascara, I brought my two favorites that I included my 2013 favorites. This is the Benefit They're Real, and this is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Waterproof. And I brought my 
Eyelash curler, of course, cannot go without it. I have sad, sad Snuffleupagus lashes. And for eyeliner, I actually brought four. That might seem crazy, I don't know. This is the Wen Wild Color Icon Eyeliner, I think that's what it's called, in copper. And it's just kind of like a glittery kind of copper color. And I usually use that one on my lower lash line. And this is my Physician's Formula Eyeliner Eye Booster, something like that. I like how fine the eyeliner tip is because so, you can get like a really precise thin line. Also for black pencil liner, I brought the Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil in black point and I use that to tight line at the top. For my bottom waterline, I really like to use the Rimmel Scandalize in a Nude. This one's just awesome. And to mix it up, I brought this as an option, but I actually don't even think I ever used it. This is the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in Blackberry. Pretty nice for the drama. For my brows, of course, I had to bring my favorites. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit in Ash Brown. I just used that, that middle brown. And then my little Sonia Kashuk Travel Angle Eyeliner Brush or brow brush. I don't know what it's meant for, but I always use it for my brows. It's amazing. Also, because I knew I would be rocking some false lashes at some point during the trip, I brought my Salon Perfect Lash Applicator little thing. I mean, I know everybody doesn't use these, but it makes it easier for me. I like easy things. And this is the Duo Dark Tone Lash Glue, my fave. And that's it for this bag. So it's not really very full at all, but... I couldn't put it all in one bag. I'm sorry. And now I have just a couple other kind of random things that I usually put in my purse. So I grab these out of my purse. I don't put them in the makeup bag. Basically, these are just the lip colors that I brought. Um, of course, I brought three balm stains. Um, well, actually, they're not all balm stains. They're actually all different. But um, first up, I brought the red so I could be dramatic, which I actually didn't even use, but I like that I had the option. It's the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Standout. You know I love this one. And then also, I brought the Jordana Twist and Shine in Honey Love, which is kind of just a darker version. It's what I have on my lips right now of the Revlon Balm Stain, Kissable Balm Stain in Honey, which you know is my all time favorite. I love these two. They are slightly different. I probably didn't need to bring both, but I did. The other two lip products I brought were the Nivea A Kisses Smoothless, Smoothless, <laughs> Smoothness Hydrating Lip Care Lip Balm. I love this one. I've used up a whole one of these, which is like a miracle in my world. Like. I, I can never actually use up a whole lip balm. I love it. And I was so dried out while I was there. Ugh. Vegas is like, makes you like a dry prune slash raisin. I don't even know. But um, this definitely came in handy because my lips almost got chapped and I was really worried. <laughs> Not really worried, but you know. And then also for a gloss, I brought my forever favorite, Hourglass Extreme Sheen and Reflect. It's kind of clear. It goes over any color and I love it. And that's it for the lip stuff. And now I will show you the brushes I brought. I normally don't talk about brushes that much. I don't know why. Let's look at them. This is my makeup brush bag. It is by Sedona Lace. I think it's it's actually like one of those apron things. I don't ever really wear it as an apron, but I think it's nice to travel with um, because it keeps them all straight and organized and you can just like leave them in here and just like prop it up. Okay, for my foundation brush, I brought my favorite Sigma Flat Top Kabuki in F80. For concealer, I brought the, uh, I think this is a crown brush, kind of looks like the baby twin of this one. And it's just kind of like a flat top synthetic mini kabuki brush and I'm pretty sure it's crown brush but I don't know there's nothing written on it um, and then also I have this other crown brush a uh, duo fiber brush and it is the uh, C406 large duo face and then for bronzer lately I've been using this Sedona lace FB01 giant fan brush which I love how it looks and actually I've had it for quite a while and it's been through a lot especially traveling is hard on this I should probably have like a like little brush keeper thing but I don't I just love this brush I love how it looks I'm just kind of infatuated with it I don't know have you ever been infatuated by a brush it's probably weird. For a blush brush, I have this Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush in F40. And 
it's just my favorite blush brush it's the only one I use and then also I have a little mini elf fan brush that I got from Target I think it's like a dollar or something I use this for setting concealer under my eyes and around my nose also I have this real techniques brush and it's just like a small synthetic duo something I don't even know how to describe this and then I also have this mini duo fiber brush by crown brush and it is the c404 small duo face so it's kind of like the baby twin of that one and then for my eye brushes i keep it very 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 simple i only have three um i don't like to fuss with a lot of eye brushes i mean i fuss with all this other stuff and the one thing i pick to not fuss with is eye brushes strange this is just how my mind works first off this is the elf c brush always a good one and then next I have a Sedona Lace EB09 blending brush. I actually have several brushes that look a lot like this um, by like different brands. So I wouldn't really say this one is like very unique. And then also this brush I cannot do without, but I, but there's probably other ones out there like it. It's a Sedona Lace EB21 and it's just a very, very tiny rounded off detail brush and I love to use it to do kind of like an eyeliner effect with like a black eyeshadow. So that's it for my brushes. It's kind of a lot. I know I can't control myself. I'm sorry. All right so that's it for what's in my travel makeup bags. I know I'm kind of ridiculous. I can't control myself. I hope you still like me. Anyway if you have any comments or questions or whatever, you can comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Like the video if you liked it. You can also subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my new videos. I put up about two videos a week. And you can also hit me up on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or Tumblr or Twitter. I think I already said that. Or Google+. Plus. All those links will be down below. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. And what do you guys want to see next? I, I want to do a tutorial, like a makeup tutorial. So is there some kind of look or kind of like celebrity look or something like that that you guys would want to see me attempt? Um, tell me down below. That would be very helpful. I love when you guys tell me such things. And yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone! Is it raining? Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I'm turning red. Why does this happen to me? <laughs> it's over. I found the cameras and I talked to the guy from Sony. I don't know if I learned anything.